I started looking for a mask that will give me the same protection that I need but does not need to be discarded every day. Ta-da! everyone, I'm Faith Conanan, a medical doctor from the Philippines. So for this episode, I am going to do unboxing of the things I bring with me whenever I go to the duty. These are my essentials as part of the new normal. These are my new essentials as part of the new normal. So if you want to know more about these items, please keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Without further ado, let's get to it! Since the pandemic has long been present, I started looking for a mask that will give me the same protection that I need but does not need to be discarded every day. Hence, I got this silicone mask. So it comes in different colors. It has orange, gray, nude, amethyst, red wine. But I got mine in the pink one. It comes with a sealed plastic container protecting the silicone mask and the 10 NK95 free filters. When you open it, it has this has this 10 free KN95 filters, the silicone mask itself, and it has two gaskets to protect the filter. So this silicone mask claims to be reusable, affordable, economical, and convenient to use. Silicone mask is very soft to touch, rubbery, it comes with two gaskets. It does not smell like plastic at all. These two gaskets are used as the skeleton of the silicone mask. So the first one you will have to put inside as such. Get one KN95 free filter and then you fit it perfectly into the gasket. So afterwards, it will look like this. These two gaskets are used as a protection between the filter and the mask. So then put the second gasket to secure the filter. It will look like this one. It's like the regular KN95. This filter promises 95% protection from bacteria and viruses. If you want to add another protection and make that 95% into 99% protection against bacteria and viruses, you could put another filter. So just remove the gasket again. And then insert another filter. So you can put two filters between the gasket, fit it perfectly, then the second gasket between the two filters. Silicon mask already has two filters inside it, giving you 99% protection and is already safe and ready to use when going out in the public or in the clinic. Another option if you run out of filters, you can use your ordinary surgical mask or your ordinary KN95. You trace the free filter that you have onto the mask and then cut it. Here I have a ordinary surgical mask and the free filter. You could fold it in half, then trace the free filter or to cut it out. For a regular surgical mask, you can already create one free filter each mask. And then for the regular KN95 mask, you are able to produce two filters for each KN95 mask. If you have them at home, you can make your DIY filters or you can just purchase a filter separately. Next one for the wear test. 
The silicone mask has two ear loops that are adjustable depending on the size of your face. For the wear test, it already has ear loops that are adjustable in the size of your face. So let's try it. As you can see, the mask fits perfectly on my face. It is very soft, that's why it does not cause skin irritation. What I like about this silicone mask is that it does not compress my face that much. It also does not leave any mark after wearing it. So it is breathable and claims to be leak proof. Another thing that I like about this, unlike the regular surgical mask or the regular KN95, it leaves some spaces beside this area. This one, the two gaskets, takes the filter and creates the skeleton that makes it perfectly fit on the face. It also prevents air leakage. So let's try if it really prevents air leakage. So it does not have any air leakage from the sides and from this area. There is a minimal air leakage below my chin. It is also breathable. I can also speak well through it. Going back, unlike other masks, kasi, um, minsan muffled yung sound. So the patients are having difficulty hearing us when we are talking to them wearing the mask. However, this one from my initial wear test, it is breathable. I could speak well through it. And then, hindi muffled nga yung sounds. As I've mentioned a while ago that this mask is reusable, very convenient, and very economical. You might be asking on the ways on how to clean this one. First off is you have to remove the gaskets and discard the filters. With use of mild soap or mild detergent, you can soak all of this and wash it. After washing them properly, you could hang them to dry. You can wipe them with disinfectant or you can leave them on a dry towel. So an important part is to sanitize or alcoholize this area by the silicone mask where you put the gasket. So you could use disinfectant wipes, alcohol, or sanitize this part of the silicone mask. After it's dry, another method that you could use is through sterilization. To make sure that these are all disinfected properly once used again on the following day. You could sterilize these items on a UV bag and leave it for 15 minutes to be disinfected. Which leads me to my next purchase. My next purchase is this UV bag. Ta -da! This UV bag comes in two colors. It has the gray one and the black one with dimensions of 24 centimeters by 12 by 18 centimeters. You open this bag, it will look like this. And when you open it, has these protective garters. So, another compartment where you could also put the things that you want to sterilize. Its back area, it has this secret compartment where it holds the USB interface, which is used when charging or when using the bag. This USB port is connected to a power bank or to a charger to sterilize or disinfect the items so that it could be ready for use. This UV bag can sterilize and disinfect items and has a bactericidal rate of 99.9%. It can sterilize textile products such as socks, underwear, or towel, makeup and wash products. It can also disinfect electronic items or devices such as cell phones. So you could use it to disinfect the plastic products such as the pants or glasses also be used to disinfect products such as watch keys also the ceramic soaps glasses or the utensils that you use in eating important reminder for those who will be using uv bag that once it is in use 
prevent yourself from being exposed to it because too much exposure of UV light can cause harm to our skin and to our eyes as well. The thing that I like about this bag is that you can accessorize it with use of different straps. So I will be showing here the different varieties of this bag and the straps that you could put on to make it as a shoulder bag or a body bag. I got this strap. Is adjustable based from your preference. The back will look as such. So you could adjust the handle based from your preference and use it as a shoulder bag or make it longer and use it as a body bag. So you could be bringing this when you go to duties or in the clinic or if you are going to work. So just the minimum amount of time required to sterilize or disinfect the products. This bag is very convenient to use and it also makes sure that all the products that are being exposed out in the public during the day are disinfected properly. So that's it for this episode. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. See you in my next video. Be safe everyone. Bye!